All right, so we have this pattern of blocks here, and it's changing. And the first thing to think about is, well, what are we, what are we looking at exactly, right? What's happening here? Um, well, I notice one thing that's missing, we need to add this, is the step numbers that we're looking at. So let's label these. I, I believe that this is step zero, the beginning, and then step one, and then step two. So make sure you label those. And then if we look at these steps right here, we can analyze lots of different things about these steps. Uh, for example, we can analyze these uh, purple pixels right here. They're kind of bluish, but uh, let's say they're purple. And there's one, two, three, four, five purples in the first step number. I'm going to change the color here. This is one, two, three, four, five, another five purples in step one and another five purples in here in step two. So if this pattern remains the same, we can assume that purple never changes. So it doesn't matter what step number we're on, purple as a function of time is always equal to five, right? It's never going to change. Um, I like that the green and the red are alternating, and I noticed that for green, oops, that, we, can't, we can't see that, I'll write in black. So for for step one, we start to add these green blocks here, and we add two, four, five, six green blocks. And in step two, those six green blocks are there. But note, I noticed that we've also added another six reds. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six reds. So this is kind of interesting because if we look at the green slash red pixels, as one group, uh, we can say that they always go up by six each time. We're adding six, and we're adding another six pixels. We'll call these little squares pixels. We're adding six pixels each time. So I'm going to write grr as a function of time. In other words, if you look at the green and the red pixels as a function of time, we start off with none. <laughs> Excuse me. We start off with none, start off with zero, and then we add six per step, or, or six as a function of time. And this could be our function for the green and red pixels. Now, altogether, if we look at all the pixels, the total pixels, we can say, okay, well, there's the five purple plus all the green and all the red. So if we put those two together, we have five plus zero, we can leave that zero out, plus six t, and this equals the total pixels as a function of time. Now notice, and this is really something um, I often switch up and mix up, we have this, this input, uh, the, the input here is time, but then in the image we're calling them steps. So we can assume that steps and time are then interchangeable. Maybe these are every second or every minute or something, but these steps are changing over time. If that's confusing to you, it's okay to put S here for step number or something instead of a T. Um, what about the height and the width? Well, the height and um, the height of the function, let's look at it. First, the height is three. Then the height, well, we add one above and one below, so it's five. And, okay, then here, we've got another one on top, one on bottom, it's seven. So I'm looking at my height, the height is a function of time. Well, we start off with a height of three, and then we add um, two every step, right? So it's three plus two t. Uh, so make sure you have a three and then a five and a seven as you're tracking the height and be careful with that. Now the width, the width is also starts at three, but then the width goes at a different rate because the, the width adds two on each side, so it adds four altogether. So the next width is seven. And uh, the width after that it's another four, it's 11, so it goes three, seven, 11. Notice it's going up by fours. So the width as a function of time starts off at three and then it adds uh, four for every step. So that's the equation we should have. Now, one thing uh, in all of these, in this work, we look at where would this pattern be at step 100? So uh, I would like to know how many uh, purple pixels are there, how many green and red, total height and width, where is this thing at at step 100? So to figure that out, I simply need to plug in 100 for t. So I'll draw a little arrow right here that the purple pixels at step 100, well, that still equals 5. There's nothing to change there. The answer is 5. 
Well, for green and red, right, GER of 100, we get 0 plus 6 t, and t, the step number here, or time, is 100. So that would be 0 plus 600. Remember, we multiply first, so it's 6 times 100. That's 600. So it's going to be 600 green and red. Total pixels, well, total as a function of time, total uh, when we're at step 100 is 5 plus 6 times 100. And that's 605. So there would be 605 total pixels, 600 green and red pixels, and 5 purple pixels. The height at step 100, that'll equal 3 plus 2 times 100. And the width will equal 3 plus 4 times 100. So that means that the height will equal 3 plus 200 is 203. And the width will equal 3 plus 400, or 403. All right, so let's look at the graphs of these things. Um, we've got purple, and it always equals 5. So there should be a horizontal line at 5. And then green and red starts off at 0, so just go through the origin, and then add 6 for every step. So let's just plot those two. This is a program called GeoGebra. So type in the bottom here, P is a, of t. P is a function of time equals 5. And there we can see our horizontal line, but I can't have the purple line be green. That just is not acceptable to me. Okay, nice and purple. Got it. So it's always at 5. And then I can get away with this. Grr of t, let's see if I understand this, equals 0 plus 60. Oh, good. I like that. So green and red is a function of time. So I'm going to zoom out now. You can see that this line here, in the first sec the first step, it goes up 6. In the second step, it goes up another 6. It's 6 for every step. Now, the third function was the total as a function of time. And that equals the sum of these two functions, which is 5 plus 6t. So it's essentially the same as the red line, only 5 higher. At the beginning, it's 0. It's already at 5. At 1, it's at not 6, but 6 plus 5, all the way up here at 11 because it's the five purple pixels and the green and red pixels all together. Uh, next, we've got the height and the width. Let me just zoom back here and know what that is. The height is 3 plus 2t. So <clears throat> you start off at 3 on the y-axis and then add 2 for every step. And the width starts off at 3, but then adds 4 for every step. So let's put that here. So h of t equals 3 plus 2t. There it is. And let's just change the color. It's a little thicker the line there. And let's make it uh, let's make it black. So the width uh, base of time also starts at three, but then we should see that it has a dramatically, somewhat dramatically steeper slope. I'll make that gray. That's the best choice. Gray doesn't really stand out, but I'll make it really thick. So here if I zoom out we can see that the gray line, right, uh, it's four for every second. Um, the gray line, the width, excuse me, uh, certainly overtakes the height over time. And I think it's step 100. Let's just zoom out. It's a little, little, a little crazy here with the grid. Let me fix that grid. Ew. So here is step 100. <clears throat> Let's go find those. There they are. There's the. There it is. Okay, finally. Here's step 100. You can see the black line is the height at 200, but the width is all the way up here at 400. It's certainly exceeded. Uh, of course, interestingly enough, the total pixels is still going to be greater than either the width or the height. Um, and that's why this line's up here. It's steeper than the others. So you make those graphs. Just make sure your intercepts and your slopes match uh, appropriately. If you're doing this, uh, if you're analyzing this pixel pattern. Uh, finally, let's analyze this thing as a step function. Now, a step function, this is linear, and see, essentially it's incorrect because uh, this pattern we're analyzing doesn't change constantly like this. It changes in steps. Every time a step passes, it shifts. But this line right here, for example, if I just zoom in more here, this is saying, for example, at step two, let's say, uh, the height is at 2 times 2 plus 3, which is 7. But then at step 3, right, 
it changes again, and it becomes 6 plus 3, which is 9. But the thing is that this has all this graph in between 2 and 3. So it's saying like a 2 and a half, this thing's at 8. All right, 2 and a half times 2 plus 3 is 8. That's not really true. There's no half steps here. This linear function is continuous, but we want to look at something a little bit more representative of this model. So what I'm going to do is show uh, one of the step functions, and then what I want you to do is come up with another step function based on our work here. So um, any of these things, any aspect of this graph can be analyzed as a step function. And I think what I'll look at in terms of as a, excuse me, as a step function is, let's look at the total pixels. All right, that'll be interesting. So the total pixels as a function of time, let's make this a step function. Well, this function still starts at six, but, and it still adds six for every second. But we need a way to get it to step because if we look at the step numbers here, we have zero, one, two, let's look at a couple on here, four and five. So the step number is, um, and look at the total pixels, we start off at uh, six and then we add six, we get 12 and we get 18 and we get 24 and 30 and 36. So, um, so here we need to, this function needs to only get us these numbers and nothing in between. And the way we do that is by either adding ceiling brackets to round up the greatest integer function or by adding floor brackets to round down. And this might be enough to solve it, it might not. Let's see what happens. So let's just try, um, let's do some instinct here. We know if I plug in, let's say, in this spot right here, my step number was two and a half. This still needs to get me to um, how many pixels? Well, it doesn't change until it reaches step three. So there should be no change from step two. So step two is 18, step two and a half should still get us, should still equal 18 total pixels. So I'm thinking, all right, well, if I plug in two and a half here and I round down, that keeps it at two. And two times six plus six is 18. That seems to work. This might be our formula. Then if we try, let's try three and a half. If we try three and a half, what should happen? Well, it should still get me 24 because this thing is still at 24 total pixels. At three and a half steps, it shouldn't have changed at all. It shouldn't really change until step four. So if we plug in three and a half, let's see if we get 24. Three and a half rounded down is just three, and three times six is 18, and 18 plus six is 24. Yay, this seems to be working. And this is our greatest integer function. We have to graph it though. So I'm gonna do a little rough graph here. So on the x-axis, we have the step number, and on the y-axis, we have the number of pixels. So this thing starts off at six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll use a different color here. Let me just label this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I'm actually thinking, you know what, this goes up, uh, this is six, right? But I have to reach a height of 36. Let me go up by sixes. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, and 36. All right, so let's choose a different color. How about like a nice blue? All right, so at step zero, we're at six pixels here. And it stays at six pixels until step one. Then it hops up to 12 pixels here. So at step one, right, we're gonna step one and put an open circle because we get really, really close to step one, like step 0 0.9, 0 0.999, 0 0.9999. So we get closer and closer to step one. Nothing changes, but then we hit step one, whoop, we go right through six, and that's why this is open right here. It doesn't include six. Step one goes through six and up to 12, and it stays at 12 until step two when it hops up to 18 and then so on and so forth, right? At step three, it's not gonna be at 18, it's gonna be here at 24, right? And we get our step function. So for you, I encourage you to pick uh, any one of the other patterns and write it as a step function. Uh, one nice easy one to do might be to look at the red and green pixels all together and write that as a step function. All right, hope this helps.